Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? So for today's video, we are going to be making some copycat recipes that I found on Pinterest. We're gonna be doing Pop-Tarts and Logan Roadhouse Rolls. The Pop-Tart flavor I'm going to be doing is raspberry, but you can do this with any kind of fruity flavor. You can do the same thing. So let's get started first off with the Roadhouse Rolls. I've actually done this recipe before, so this is gonna be about my third time making it. For this recipe, first things first, we're gonna bring the milk to a boil on the stove top. That's gonna to be one and one fourth cup. And then we'll move it, remove it from the heat and let it uh, get to about lukewarm temperature. And then once it has reduced down to a lukewarm temperature, we're gonna mix that milk in with yeast and the honey in a small bowl. We're gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Okay, and then once that's sat, we're going to mix in a bigger bowl three more tablespoons of melted butter, that milk mixture that we just made, the egg, and two cups of flour into a bowl. Now you can use a stand mixer for this if you want to. I did not use a mixer. I just did it by hand. Uh, you can also add in the flour slowly, more gradually, and not all at once. Just makes it a little bit easier to mix it together. Then when you throw all of the flour in at once, it can get a little bit messy when you do that. Then you're going to completely mix that up until a ball of dough is formed. Once you do that, you're going to knead it for a while. Typically when I'm kneading dough, no matter what it is, I like to do it for about 8 to 10 minutes just to make sure that it's really well kneaded. We're going to spray that bowl with a cooking spray so it doesn't stick to the sides. Then we're gonna cover it with a damp cloth and let that rise for an hour. Best place to let it rise is over warm surface. It's fine if it's in a cold spot too, um, but just rises faster if there's warmth. Once it is risen, you are going to spray down a any sort of baking sheet or pan that you want to bake it in. And then you're going to roll that dough out again flatten it down you can use a rolling pin or whatever you have so once you have it about an inch thick cut it uh, with a pizza cutter and this makes about 24 rolls which is how many i made and then once i have my squares or rectangles i guess then i fold them in half and i place them all in the tray so this is a long process guys we are going to wait another hour until these rolls have doubled in size and while you're waiting for that to happen you can preheat the oven to 350 degrees once these guys have doubled, you are going to pop those suckers in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Add some butter on top. Uh, I forgot to put butter on it for the video, so there's no butter on these rolls here. But I've done these before, and I'll insert a picture of what they looked like in the different time that I made them when they did have the butter on them. I also left these in the oven like just maybe two to three minutes a little bit too long because I was focused on making the Pop-Tarts at the same time and I forgot to take them out. So they are a little bit more cooked than I personally like them, but if you like them darker, this is perfect. If you like them lighter, this other picture that I have of the ones I made before probably be more your speed. So just keep an eye on it once you've hit about the 10 to 12 minute mark. All right, now let's move on to the Pop-Tarts, the main event. I've never made these before and I was excited. So let's get to it. We're going to mix the dry ingredients in a, it's supposed to be a food processor. I don't have a food processor, so I just use my Ninja Bullet and I had to do it half at a time. So one cup of flour, a little bit of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. Pulse it together. We're going to add in the three ounces of butter. Pulse together, which was a little bit difficult because it is sort of a weird thing to put in a blender. It wasn't mixing great together, but it did pulse it down to smaller bits. Also added in the water to make it a little bit doughier. Did that twice and that made two balls of dough. So once I had my dough, I flattened it down and made it into like a rectangly shape on my cookie sheet. And then we put that in the fridge for 30 minutes to let it rest. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why it needs to rest, but that's what the recipe said to do, so I did it. Once it was done, took it out of the fridge and cut it up into two um, sheets. We're gonna use those to cut out our rectangles for the Pop-Tarts. So what I did is I just sort of rolled it out and then cut off the corners so that it would be a perfect rectangle. And then I cut my individual Pop-Tart pieces of crust um, based off of the previous one that I had cut. So that way I had at least 
two equal sized ones for each pop tart so that they would line up when I needed to put them together. And then once I had all of my crusts, I put one of each matching one onto the tray, flattened it out a little bit more with my spoon, and then put the raspberry jam that I was using as my filling in the middle. I just used this Smucker's raspberry jam. I put a decent amount in each one. You can put less because this did spill out the sides a little bit for some of them, but personally for me, I like a lot of filling. So I filled it up as much as I possibly could. And then take an egg and wash the sides of each of the Pop-Tart with the egg wash. This is going to help seal it because next thing we're gonna do is put down the top piece of crust on each one. And then with a fork, I'm gonna flatten them down so that they are connected. And then I, once again, put these in the fridge for 10 minutes or you can do the freezer for like five minutes. Another bit of egg wash on the top of these guys. And then I poked holes in the top with a knife. You can also use a fork or a toothpick. I just chose to use a knife. We have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. We're gonna bake these for about 30 to 40 minutes. The way you can tell when they're done is just that the tops are going to get like a little bit golden brown. You don't wanna get them overdone. So once that starts to happen, go ahead and take them out. For me, it took about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna put them on a cooling sheet. Let these suckers cool before you frost them. So while they're cooling, that's when we're gonna make our icing. I just use powdered sugar, vanilla extract, a little bit of cream and some almond milk. The ingredients technically call for powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and water, but we're better than that. We're doing cream and almond milk instead of water because that makes it taste better. So I didn't really do measurements for these. I kind of just eyeballed it. So you're just gonna want to keep adding liquid until it gets to be about a glazy consistency. You don't want it too runny, but you also don't want it too thick. It's not really a frosting, it's more of a glaze. Add a little bit of milk, cream, water, whatever you want to, to thin it out. And if it gets a little bit too runny, just add more powdered sugar. Then once we've got that done, we move on to actually frosting them. So just take a little bit at a time, run it over the top, frost it a bit. I added some sprinkles because it's a Pop-Tart, right? You've got to have some sprinkles on it. And then voila, we are done. These are our copycat recipes. The Pop-Tarts, 10 out of 10 do recommend. They turned out really well. They were really good. They almost are more like a toaster strudel than a Pop-Tart, but they're really good. And if you want to eat them fresh, like right while they're hot, it's delicious. If you want to eat them later, I definitely recommend microwaving over toasting just because you don't want the uh, frosting to melt and get the bottom of your toaster. The Texas Roadhouse Roll is also really good. Like I said, I overcooked mine just a little bit more than I like, but I have made this recipe before and the other two times when I cooked it, it was really good. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to me if you want. I put out new videos every week. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.